Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ron again from Wapinas.com. And finally, well, I ordered a Chewy laptop and I got here about two weeks, three weeks. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't well packed. There was no bubble wrap, okay? Um, but looks like it almost survived except for this thing over here, see? So hopefully nothing got broken inside. So it's the Hero Book. Pro IPS 14 inch okay so it's a Windows um, laptop Intel Gemini Lake N400 up to 2.6 gigahertz RAM 8 GB SSD 256 GB okay or gig okay so we're gonna open it out right now and I have my trusty knife again with me okay Yep. Ah, chubby, 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 chubby. Okay. And let's see. Ah. Looks like there's foam inside. Okay. Both sides looks like the laptop is encased in solid uh, foam box or something, as you can see. Okay. So I guess they don't actually need to put bubble wrap. Okay, and the part where it got dinged was the box, I guess, for the charger. So there's the charger. Okay. It's using the two holes, not the three one. And um, it's a foreign plug, but they sent one adapter okay um what's this i have no idea what this is okay so we'll take a picture of this later and send it to them i don't know where this came from looks like it came from here okay along with the uh, adapter box okay so there's a box here on top let's see what it is okay it's a warranty card and user manual we'll put it aside Okay. And we're gonna pull it out right now. I hope everything's okay. As you can see, it's Chewy.com. We're gonna be using this for homeschooling for email so that I can get my laptop back. As you can see there. Okay. I'm gonna pause it. Boy. Okay, so we're gonna open up the Chewy Hero Mate or Hero Book Pro. Okay, the, looks like there's no dings or scratches on the unit itself right now, as I can see. Okay, so we're gonna power it on, and while it's turning on, we're gonna check the port. So it's turning on right now, as you can see. Okay, um, on the right side, uh, left side, there's an HDMI port, I think it's a mini HDMI port. Uh, USB 3.0 and the power port on the other side is a micro USD the 3.5 headset jack and another 3.0 port okay and so far that's it we're gonna adjust the screen again so that you can see the entire laptop so it's turning on for the first time so we gotta wait for a while I'm really curious what this is, so let's open it up. It came from inside the port. Uh, can you see it? So I have no idea what this is. I'll check the I'll check the manual later. Okay. So this is supposed to be pre-installed with Microsoft Windows 10. Okay. We're gonna set it up. So we skip the uh, introduction. Is set to the United States. Is that right? No. We're in the Philippines. So let's see if Philippines is here. Okay. So it's turning on. Your key 
keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Skip. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, That's you'll need that. Type what you want to name your account. Wapinashui. Okay, now type a password for your account. Okay, we're gonna pause it. To make sure we've got it right. So you need to enter your password again. We're gonna pause it again. Now you can set up three security questions to help you reset your password if you forget it. Choose the first question and type your answer. So after putting in your account and your password, it's gonna ask you to create three security questions. I'm already at question number two. So here are some of the questions that you're gonna see, okay? So we're gonna move forward and then I'll restart the recording. Apps, files, and websites, so you can keep doing what you were doing even when you switch devices. Just choose yes to sync your activities. No, okay. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and repeat. Okay, just accept it and you can easily change any of the settings that you see. Okay, so we're gonna move it forward a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna pause it again and then this might take a while. Reading here's the adapter. It's input of 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. 0.8 amperes output 12 volts to 2 amperes 24 watts okay so now the laptop is on okay we're gonna move it forward a little bit and then we're gonna open settings okay so you guys can see exactly how it looks okay so we're gonna go to the system And then I like the screen, it looks good. The about okay, so it says Hero Book Pro, that's device name, desktop, something processor Intel R Celeron N400 CPU 1.1 gigahertz, installed RAM 8 GB, device ID, product ID system, 64 bit operating system. Okay. So it's a uh, Windows 10 version already installed, okay. And manufacturers Chubi Innovation and Technology Shenzhen Corporation, okay. So le let me go, let me know, guys, what you want to know about the Chewy. Uh, we're gonna try to put in a 128 GB. Um, so we have it here. It says it's Kingston. I'm not sure. Uh, someone just gave this to me, okay. So it goes to the right side of the PC if you're facing it, okay? And looks like it goes in like this, okay? So we're gonna try it right now. Okay, yes, it goes face down up. And as you can see, it can detect the external the SD card and there it is it's 116 GB usable for this micro SD so go to the PC let's see um, it says here 211 GB free out of 237 this is supposed to be a 256 so I'm assuming the 40 plus 45 GBUs was went to the system installation okay so here's a look at the keyboard and the laptop from Chewy which is the Hero Book Pro it's a 14 inch laptop 14.1 inch laptop
so in the bottom you're gonna see about 10 screws okay and there's a port small one that you can open that says M2 SATA 2242 or 2280 okay and that's a quick unboxing of the Chewy Hero Book Pro IPS 14.1 inch laptop it has 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of ROM and I bought this in Lazada for 11,769 pesos only. We're gonna test it out in the next couple of days and see how it works. Bye guys!